Now, since Tommy's got you with the exhaust on, which is a basic upgrade, <clears throat> it gives everybody more power with an exhaust. What you do to really take advantage of the new exhaust pipe is to get more air. So, more air in, more air out, more power. Got several air filters. You got your regular cone filter, 48 millimeter. Got a nice tapered one here. You have trouble getting inside the bar with the, underneath your uh, your swing arm here. This one's tapered so it fits right underneath there. So you don't have a problem with your air. And if you're going with lots of water, lots of high water, and you got it splashing up in here and it could splash up in your engine. There are air filters available that'll give you some kind of height where your air filter will basically come out right at the top of your, uh, your uh, carriage here. This one actually is an LED air filter, so when it's actually sucking the air, it lights up, you know, if you want to get crazy. These work really good um, for the 250s. They were uh, actually brought in for the 250s, but adding a pipe here and bringing your air filter above, you can always change this. You don't have to use that if you can put a regular 48 millimeter on there. I mean, we've tried these short ones and had good luck with this combination right here on a 150. Now with that more air, you want to add your regular large carburetor. You can use a 30 or a 32 millimeter on a 150. We actually like the 32s. We get enough air in there that we can add that much gas to really get the oomph out of it. All right, thank you, Tommy. Electronics. We have electronic choke on these carbs inside this box. Fill set screwdriver, two screws. Let's take the screws, loosen those up. Pop your box off. You find your choke. This one right here. Let's connect that. Goes to our screw. Get to it. Carb. We have to disconnect the cable. It's a 12 millimeter nut. You go ahead and loosen that up with a wrench and get off. Once you get the nut all the way off, pull forward, bring the cable through the slot, and you can bring the cable off the carb. Screw your nut back on so it doesn't fall off. You're going to need it when you put the new carb on. Back of the carb on the manifold, there are two 10 millimeter nuts that hold the manifold in. That's what we're going to take off to take the carb out since we're replacing the manifold. Connect this vacuum line on top. Just connect your fuel line. Just pull your carb on out. Best way you can find. Wet your choke wires. The vacuum line on the front of the manifold, which will be being hooked back up also. This is your stock carb. And we're going to be replacing that. You can go with a 30 or a 32. In this case, we're going with a 32 millimeter MRP custom car. And move on to our next step. Now we're going to uh, install the manifold for this uh, 150 hammerhead. Uh, I just want to show you that the old and the new manifold here, there is a big difference in intake size 
I'm definitely going to get a lot more fuel and air as we go in. It's also made out of metal instead of rubber. It's not going to crack and corrode. The manifold gets mounted back on. We took the old manifold card from just the two 10 millimeter bolts. You want to make sure your rubber seal is in here and it's good. Just put it on, place down the stud, screw your bolts on, tighten them up, and you're good to go. All right, we're putting on the new gaskets for the manifold supply with the kit. The blue one goes on the bottom against the engine, and the black one goes on top. Push that down in place, and your manifold goes over top of that. Make sure your O-ring seal's in there good. Just secure that down on there. On the two spacers. Sometimes you'll use them, sometimes you won't, depending on your stud size. Here, we're not gonna use them. We don't need them. So we're just gonna bolt this back down tight, and then we'll move on to our next step. All right, we've got the carburetor back on, um, and the manifold, two bolts in the back, hook up your vacuum line. These carbs uh, only have one vacuum that comes from the manifold. There's not a manifold on top, there's not a vacuum. So you get rid of the T, uh, just connect one vacuum line from your pet cock to your manifold, tighten all your bolts back up, hook your cables up, um, we custom made an air filter for the customer to rise high up to keep it away from water. Um, it could be here, it could be up on top. You can pretty much do anything you want. We used a lot of the stuff that was already here from the old air box. Um, and that should put a lot of air into the bike now. Into the cart, should I say. Um, that's the next step's gonna be on the clutch. Thanks.